Seems like Wetumpka, Alabama is on everyone's radar these days. It's earned time in the spotlight for its charm, but people are also noticing its unique topography, which it owes to a blast from the past. Melissa Bowman explains. A growing number of tourists are setting their sights on picturesque Wetumpka, Alabama. It's a sweet little historic town with beautiful buildings. We're very culturally and socioeconomically diverse and we sit on a beautiful river. And so it really is like stepping into a movie set. And it literally has been a set for movies and television shows. Tim Burton's movie Big Fish was filmed here, as well as Walter Matthau's Grass Harp, Rosa Parks' Story, Spike Lee's Sons of the South, and most recently, Ben and Aaron Napier's hometown takeover, which is huge. It's no surprise that a city with this much Southern charm has attracted movie and television crews recently. But it turns out, Wetumpka's knack for leaving a good impression actually goes back millions of years. 85 million years ago, we know that um, some type of a meteor that was about the size of a football stadium came through the atmosphere. It landed here in Wetumpka and it, it uh, created this gargantuan explosion. And so consequently, through this explosion, what we see is a series of rocks and rock formations that are very unique to Wetumpka. Unfortunately, that explosion took out a few dinosaurs, but left behind a five mile wide crater that's rim is still visible today. It's also the reason for the area's atypical hilliness and unconventional geography. For example, in the river, the, the rocks face backwards. They should face the way the river flows, but they're pointed towards the actual center of the impact. As early as the 1890s, geologists suspected a catastrophic event. 100 years later, Auburn University professor David King and his team proved it when they discovered shocked quartz, a sure sign of impact. Today, the Wetumpka Impact Crater Commission works to educate people about the crater and help them experience it personally. You can go to the website, download the self-guided tour map and uh, drive around and see seven different uh, signs that we have around town that will give you an explanation of what you're looking at. Follow the signs to see portions of the rim, unusual cliffs, and even touch rocks that are only there because of the crater. Some of these rocks would normally be found way below the Earth's surface. As a result of the, the crater impact, they were pushed up and pushed forward. Scientists around the world come to Wetumpka to study what is considered one of the best preserved craters of its kind. As more tourists visit, the commission hopes they too will add the crater to their itinerary. With all the other things we have, it is the oldest thing that they can put their hand on. And according to locals, it's just one more thing that makes Wetumpka special. We often laugh that Perhaps it's the meteor dust that just makes us a little happier, that it's just a little bit magical, that people can just feel it when they get here. You know, faith, trust, meteor dust. For Simply Southern, I'm Melissa Bowman. The Wetumpka Impact Crater Commission has information available for self-guided tours, and they lead an annual group tour. It was postponed last year because of the pandemic, but they hope to resume the group tour soon. Be sure to check WetumpkaImpactCraterCommission.org for updates. Now eventually the Wetumpka Impact Crater Commission and city leaders hope to create an interpretive center that would draw even more people to the area to learn more about this interesting piece of Alabama history. That will be a great thing if that gets up and going. When Simply Southern continues, we'll tell you about a recent meeting between food bloggers and farmers. The next time you go online for cooking tips, you may learn something about how your food was grown. Tony, was it a fire or a flood? More of a fire. A fire. Yes, ma'am. My extra large Mount Vesuvius pizza set off the sprinklers. A pizza caused this? Actually, a historical reenactment pizza. A historical what? Volcano-shaped poblano pepper pizza set ablaze while I sing opera. It's epic. When a little flame turns into an epic inferno, <laughs> give us a call. Don't cry, Tony. It's okay. Alpha Insurance. Rated 94% claim satisfaction. Are you covered? As a farmer, I, I grow U.S. from a farm-raised catfish. Doing that, I know it's a safe product and I enjoy eating it any way my wife likes to cook it. <laughs> Hi, I'm Luke Smelly and I'm Alabama 2020 Catfish Farmer of the Year from Greensboro, Alabama. 
If you haven't tried U.S. Farm Raised Catfish, you should because it's delicious. Simple as that. Soybean is a very versatile product. We make crayons out of it. A lot of the combines you see rolling through the fields have a lot of plastic side panels that are made from a soy product. The soybeans that we grow on our farm mostly goes into chicken feed. Soybean production in Alabama employs over 10,000 people. We grow some of the best soybeans in the world. We go the extra mile to make sure when our name is stamped on it, we know it's the best product we can produce. It's not about the game, it's about what you do before the game. It's how you plan for the season. It's what you do before everyone wakes up. It's what you do in the heat, rain, or cold. It's what you do that everyone else doesn't do. Because that's how you grow. Hey y'all, I'm Kim Earwood with Alabama Ag in the Classroom. In today's Rural Dictionary, we're taking a look at an agricultural commodity that grows around your house, sod. Sod fields get their start through vegetative propagation. This means they're growing grass from a fragment of another plant instead of from seed. Grass is planted in ribbons in a large field and allowed to grow in to cover the top of the ground. Sod farmers use large flex wing rotary cutters to make mowing go faster. Automatic sod harvesters cut and stack or roll sod, which is then shipped to customers. To keep growing your agricultural knowledge, visit alabamaaitc.org. This Rural Dictionary is brought to you by Alabama Ag in the Classroom. See you next time!